All right, I'm ready. All righty. The first couple are going to be kind of, like I said, the silly questions, but... So Matt, uh, what kind of experience do the students need before they start at the house lab? Absolutely none, um, because we're used to having um, students that have never even seen a house constructed out of wood before um, to uh, long-time experienced carpenters. So uh, you don't need any, we just teach to all of them. So. And do they need to bring their own equipment, or what equipment gets provided for them in the house? We provide everything tool-wise. All the students need is just um, personal um, protection equipment, so safety glasses, work boots, and we do ask them to bring their own tape measure, but other than that, everything else is provided. And do they, what kind of equipment do they usually, like maybe it depends on the phase, but what kind of equipment and tools do they handle throughout the semester? Um, just basically, basically mostly just uh, all the hand tools that you would normally use, basic hand tools. Uh, we'll use a compound miter saw, we'll use a uh, portable skill saw, um, but a hammer and nail, drill, screw gun, ratchet, screw gun, screws, that kind of thing. Uh, pencil, like pretty basic stuff. It really doesn't take that many sophisticated tools to build a house. And do the students build everything? Like, do they are they involved in every phase of the construction of the house, or are there phases that professionals are brought? Uh, yeah. So we'll we'll start off with the with the engineered floor system. We'll do all the traditional um, framing of the house. We'll erect the trusses, and then we do about 99 percent of the exterior. Um, we'll do the siding. We install the windows. We do the roofing. Um, the inside is actually done by exterior trade. So the plumbing rough in, electrical rough in, and drywall is performed by trades that are that are looked after by our industry partner, uh, McCann Building Movers. Um, they're the folks that make this happen. So they purchase all the materials. Um, I just run it like a real residential project, uh, which is the other really cool part. It, it's a great partnership for us. How do you move the houses out of the house? They seem to be. Pretty snug. Um, well, that's that's where the McCanns come in, and they are a professional building moving company. What they do is they lift them up um, off the beams that we have. Um, they'll roll them out on some rollers. Um, they hook a truck up to it, basically. They'll have a permit to close down uh, the route that they want to go on. Yeah. Um, they get a permit from the city, and then just off they go. It's just basically like a big, huge um, house on wheels, really. Um, but it is really not that much different from the way we'd build it on a on a foundation. There's really there's only a couple of minor things that we do to accommodate that move. So uh, usually the highlight is the trusses because it's fun. But anybody afraid of heights usually doesn't want to do it. Um, sometimes roofing is the favorite. Um, usually at the beginning everybody's a little bit timid and nobody knows anybody and that kind of thing. But that goes away pretty fast. So. What challenges do you have you come up in reverse engineering a site for educational purposes? That's a tough one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I guess the sky's the limit. I've seen, I've never seen the end of it yet because I haven't retired yet, but uh, I've seen a lot of stuff. Yeah, sometimes it's just basically just watching that nail try and go into the wood. Sometimes it bends over and, and we pull it out and we do it again. Um, but we have some strategies that we use to to uh, help the students uh, learn learn the skill and learn the tool. Do you have any stories or moments of students that struggled a lot at the beginning, but near the end, like really excelled and really felt comfortable? Yeah, lots, space? lots. I, and, and I think just maybe going back to the height would be one good example. And I've seen um, students that kind of want to get on the roof, but they're almost at the verge of turning pale and passing out. and. Um, crying and everything else so I just sort of forcibly encourage them to get on the roof in a, in a gentle way I never force anybody to go on the roof they really don't want to um, but I've seen students in that in that situation they get on top of the roof and you can't get them down they're having so much fun um, they realize that yes you are safe and, and they just have a blast and they don't want to come down so yeah a classic example there I, I think there's no substitution for seeing and doing um, here, uh, everything's three-dimensional, it's live, it's actually what um, the students are learning to draw their first crack at AutoCAD, and I, and I believe uh, with the program um, now that they're using the same plan for their first introduction to Revit in the second semester now, um, so seeing it is, is invaluable. Um, this is how the truss lines up to that wall, this is sort of how a door opening works. Um, I don't think there's any substitution for it, really. Uh, it's, it's invaluable.